hello guys welcome back to my channel the beautiful stitches i love you all from the bottom of my heart and i'm glad you're here with me and today i would like to thank all my subscribers for being there for me and if you're visiting for the first time please click on the notification bell to always get notified and touch the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to always get updated anytime i upload my videos okay today we are going to be making a simple top with a kissing pleat at the lower end and a cape at the neck and also the zipper will be in front okay so for us to get our accurate measurement we're going to use the largest part of our measurement which is the bust to get the required measurement we'll be drafting out on our pattern so my bust is 37 37 divided by four i have nine and quarter okay and remember i'll be having a zipper in front so nine and quarter plus 1.5 inch zipper allowance okay so my zipper will be in front just like as i'm measuring it on my fabric now okay so i measure out my zipper allowance 1.5 inch and connect it down to the half length okay so what i'm going to do now is to measure out my half length remember it's going to be having a kissing pleat at the lower part of my top so my half length is 17 and i'll be adding half inch seam allowance plus let me add one inch seam allowance because i'll be cutting off the half inch at the end of the day so it's better to have excess fabric than to run short of fabric while joining your fabrics together okay so we we'll mark at 17 plus one that is 18 inches for my half length i'll be cutting off half inch after joining okay so what i'll do now is to cut it out and place it on the back panel just as i've done so this is my back panel remember i've also put it on fold okay so i'll be placing my front panel on the back panel folding the zipper allowance beneath the front panel okay making sure it's flat okay and then i'll make sure it's aligned together the front and the back panel so what i'll be doing now is to draft out my measurements on my fabric okay remember i left 1.5 inch zipper allowance at the center front okay so let's draft out our measurements on our fabric now so i'll be measuring at my neck width we have neck width of three inches for average size person okay remember i have my zipper allowance so three inches neck width and then my shoulder is Okay, my shoulder is 8 inches. Okay. So I'll be coming down by 1 inch at the shoulder point. And then connect it. Let's be sure of what you are marking. 8 inches. Then I'll come down by 1 inch. And then connect it back to my 3 inches standard neck measurement. Just like as I'm doing it now. So the next thing is to measure out my armhole. My armhole is 17. Sorry, my armhole is 18. 18 divided by 2, I have 9. So I'll be measuring out 9 inches from the 1 inch I came down at the shoulder line. Just like as I'm doing it on my fabric now. Okay. So that is 9 inches. And then I'll connect it down to the center front. And also connect it down to the one inch I came down at the shoulder line. Let's be sure of our eight inches shoulder measurements. Okay. Connect it down. So what I'm going to do now 
is to draft out my armhole. We'll locate the midpoint of our armhole. Mine is 4 inches. Okay. When you locate the midpoint, you go in by half inch inward. Half inch inward. And then use your cuff to connect it from the shoulder down to the midpoint you've located and down to the upper bust line. Just as, as I'm doing it, just the way I'm doing it. Okay, let's draw out the line a little. Connect it down to the upper bust line. And then for the back armhole, you just place it directly on the first line from the center point and connect it down to the upper arm, to the upper bust line, sorry. Okay. All right. So let's impute our measurement. My bust is 37, 37 divided by 4. I have 9 and quarter. Okay. So 9 and quarter is here. And then... I'll be adding 1.5 inch to my 9 and quarter, half inch for ease and 1 inch for seam allowance. Okay. And then my waist is 31. 31 divided by 4. I have 7, 3, 8. Okay. That is my waistline. 7, 3, 8. And then I'll be adding 1 inch for that. Then 1.5 inches for seam allowance, half inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance. So what I'll do next is to connect from the armhole down to the waist line. Just the way I'm doing it now. Connect from the armhole down to the waist line or from the waist line to the armhole, whichever way, okay, with your armhole curve so the next thing i'll be doing now is to cut it out also before going back to the neck to impute my neck depth and neck width i will impute my, my dart position okay my dart is four inches and then i'll mark it out and make a notch at the point of my dart so that when i want to impute my dart i will not start Measuring or finding it difficult to impute my dart. So I'll measure four inches and then make a notch at that point. Okay. Just like as I'm doing it now, as you can see, I've made a notch there. It all applies to both the front and the back panel. So what I will do is just to put my half inch on both sides and then connect it to my dart length. Over to the neckline. Now we are going to impute our neck width. Okay, our neck width is four inches. Remember, we've measured three point three inches earlier. So we are going to be adding one inch from the shoulder slant. Okay, so we have four inches, and the neck depth is five inches for the front neck depth. Just the way I'm marking it out. So use your armhole curve to connect it down to the neck width just the way i'm doing it as you can see this is for the front neck depth and then for the back i'll be measuring at 1.5 inches for the neck depth for the back neck depth okay and then connect it also down to the neck width on the shoulder line just the way i'm doing it as you can see we are gradually bringing out our top okay so at the shoulder line i'll impute my half inch seam allowance remember we'll be joining it to the front the, we'll be joining the front and the back together okay so this is my front armhole we'll be cutting out the front, the back armhole before the front armhole. Okay. As you can see, I've cut out my upper bodies. So back to the lower part of our top. Remember, I'll be having a kissing pleat. So what we do at this stage now, 
we'll be subtracting the length, the half length of our top from the total length we had from the beginning. Okay. So our length, the full length of our top is 25 minus 17. We have eight remaining as the lower part of the top. As you can see, 25 minus eight, 25 minus 17 equals to eight. So we measure out eight on the remaining fabric to use. But remember, we'll be adding the lower part of the half length and then also turn it inside with the fabric. So we'll be adding half inch for joining allowance and then 1.5 inch to turn the fabric with the lining. So we measure out all together 10 inches for the lower part of our top. Okay. So I'll mark out 10 inches across the length of this fabric. Let me place it in order and measure it out. Make sure your fabric is well aligned. Okay. So I'll be measuring out 10 inches across the length of this fabric. And we have about two yards of fabric, which is about uh, 72 inches. Okay. You can have more than that if you wish, but my fabric is not that much. So I'll be using the length I have to make up my lower parts. Okay. So let's draw it into a straight line and then cut it out. As you can see, I've cut it out. This is my half length. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do now is to measure out our cape. Remember I told us that it's going to be having a cape at the neck. So we we'll measure out the circumference of the neck. Remember I added two inch, uh, 1.5 inches zipper allowance. So we'll not be measuring that. It's not part of the circumference. So for the front, I have seven inches and for the back, I have four inches, making it up 11 inches. So let's do a little mathematics. Seven plus four, we have 11 inches. And remember the fabric is on fold. So we we'll times it by two, 11 times two, we have 22. And then I'll be cutting the cape in half circles because my fabric is not enough to cut it as a full circle. So I'll be adding two inches to join it together. So I have 24 inches. And then for us to achieve our circumference, uh, achieve our radius, we'll divide it by 6.28. And we are getting 3.8 inches. Approximately, we'll be having four inches for our radius. Okay. So, we'll approximate the 3.8 to four inches. If there's any excess, I'll be cutting it off at the end of the day. Okay. But it's better to have excess than to run short of fabric. So, our radius is four inches. So, we'll be using this four inches to cut out our cape. So, this is my fabric for the cape. Remember, I'll be cutting it in half circles. I don't have enough fabric. So I made the first fold and then fold it again. That is into two places. Okay. Which is it? Two, 22 times two into two places. Again, I fold it in one place and refold it again. Okay. For us to achieve our half circle, I don't have enough fabric to cut it into full circle. So we'll be joining half circles together to achieve our full circle. Okay. The radius is four inches and I'll be marking it across this angle here. Okay. So for us to achieve our radius, the length of our cape is eight inches. Okay. And then we'll be adding, joining it to the neck with half inches, half inch, and then 1.5 inches to turn it with the lining. So all we have is nine and a half inch inches let me rule out this side of the fabric so that we can follow that line okay so let's mark it out four inches four inches for our radius so i'll 
connect the lines, the dotted lines together. Okay. That is the line. So that is our radius. Let's confirm if it is 4 inches round. So the length of my cape is 9.5. Okay. I have 8. And remember, I'll be joining it with the neck and I'll be turning it with the lining. Okay. So I'll be measuring at 9.5, 9 9.5 inches round my fabric okay starting from the radius points round the fabric i'll measure nine and a half inches round okay and connect the lines together and cut it out all right here is my cape for the top i told us we are cutting it in half circles and we'll join it together because of shortage of fabric. Okay, this is half circle and this is half circle. So we'll be joining it from one side and turn it with lining. Okay, this is exactly what I was saying before now. So let's keep it aside. Okay, so here is my half length this is the front panel and this is the back panel okay this is my cape i finished cutting it and i have my fabric for the lower parts that i'll be using for kissing pleats okay so we've finally come to the end of this tutorial if you are new to this channel please subscribe before leaving and don't fail to touch the notification bell to always get notified anytime I upload my videos. Thanks for watching till the end. See you in my next tutorial. I'll be using this fabric to cut out the lining and then we'll talk about how to join it.